my bench today, I've got a unique piece of equipment. This is a, a, a fruit and vegetable washer, and what it does is it generates ozone, and basically, you plug in, it's like a, an aquarium air stone, and you put it in a bowl of water, and this generates ozone, and uh, you let your fruits and vegetables soak in ozone, and it, uh, it purifies them. And it was brought to me by a friend, and he says it doesn't work, so uh, we'll plug it in and just see what, what's going on. It doesn't turn on, apparently. As you can see, the unit is totally dead. We'll take the top off this thing and uh, we'll take a look and see if we can figure this out. I've never seen one of these things before, so this is going to be a new experience for me too. Let's get the top off. So any for someone not familiar with how these things operate, essentially what this is, this is like an aquarium pump, an air pump. And what we do is, it, what it does is it, it creates a high voltage and you, you create a corona discharge and that, that occurs inside this tube here. So you have a high voltage applied to a screen inside the tube and it creates a high voltage discharge which produces ozone. Um, a, a prime example is if you, if you, for example, if you use a photocopier or, or, or a, a laser printer, Ozone is a byproduct of the high voltage that's used to initialize the, the transfer of toner from the toner uh, cartridge to the drum. Ozone is a byproduct and you can smell it on laser printers. So it, it's basically heavy oxygen, right? It's three oxygen, three oxygen atoms. Uh, but what we have here is we have basically a power supply, a control board here that controls the unit, and we have a high voltage generator and we have a pump. Now this unit is not working at all, so it's completely dead. So I think we can rule out the high voltage generator and we can rule out the pump because even if the high voltage generator were to work or was not working, we should still get some power. So I'm going to concentrate on the power itself and we'll just check this unit out here. Oh, okay. You, you see that happen there? I just happened to touch this capacitor. I do believe we may have a problem right in this area. Oh, you can see some sparks underneath there. So I think we may have a connection problem on this capacitor. This could be a very easy fix. So we'll take out the circuit board here. Let's make sure and it's unplugged. It is unplugged. <laughs> um, and um, now I move this capacitor here and we can see the problem right now. See, we're right here. That wasn't soldered properly at the factory. And there's our problem. So let's solder that up. Come on, Mr. Camera, get back in focus. Okay, I'm sure someone is going to be critical on my soldering, like they always are. We'll just reattach this circuit board here and see if this thing turns on. Okay, now if we look at the display here, the display is lighting up, which is a good sign. Um, press the up button. Press the up button. Ah, there we go. Voila. Voila. Can we smell the ozone? Oh yes, that distinct smell of ozone, uh, problem solved, nice simple one. So if you got one of these uh, ozone pure fruit and vegetable washers and it doesn't work, hey, check the power supply. Obviously they didn't solder that right at the factory and uh, it may save somebody some money because these things are pretty expensive. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.